Mario Baldassari is chairman of Italy's Senate Finance Committee and joins us now from Rome. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Now, there is, seems to be so much investor concern out there, and a lot of people saying now is the time for Mr. Sergio Berlusconi and his government to step down, because what markets don't like is uncertainty, which is exactly what we've been getting over the last couple of weeks. Well, this is not only a question of uncertainty. I do believe it's more a question of certainty. And certainly comes out from the budget law we are going to approve this week in the Senate. The point is that what the European uh, institutions and market asked Italy to do, and what to do was structural reforms to cut down government expenditure, reach zero deficit, and sustain a little bit growth. So how this budget law answered the question? Uh, if we refer to the last statistical official data of 2010, uh, we see that this budget law will reach zero deficit in 2013, but the point is how. And the uh, how means uh, we, the zero deficit target will be, will be met uh, but Mr. through 100... What, what we seem to be concerned about is the uh, fact let, that... Let, 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 yeah, but let me finish what, what the market are reading now. So the target of zero deficit is, could be reached by 100... You, uh, billion euro of increase in taxes. So this is not the answer to the market and to the European institutions. Of course, but what we also understand is that Mr. Berlusconi basically gave his word to the European Central Bank that was buying a lot of European debt, especially Italian debt, which actually took the yields quite lower quite nicely, in saying that he was going to put a solidarity tax, the famous 5%, which then he retracted 24 hours later. All I'm saying is that if you need to make sure that you are taken seriously, then you need to stick to your plans. Why was this retracted and why was this not thought of previously, that you need to give a, a very clear signal to the market that you mean business, which we're not getting at the moment. Right. This is the additional point, uncertainty. Uh, proposition taken in the morning and then uh, out in the afternoon or the day after. Uh, but the point is that the, the European institution and the, bank, and the Central Bank of Europe gave to Italy a window of opportunity by buying uh, uh, Italian Treasury bonds for a few weeks. So during these few weeks, Italian government in some way should give an answer in structural terms. And unfortunately, this answer is not adequate to what this institution asked to Italy to do. So it's a very dangerous situation in which we know for sure that the European Central Bank cannot continue forever to buy Italian Treasury bonds. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. It is a very dangerous situation. We spoke to, uh, you know, one economist, Mr. Rubini, saying now is really the time for the Italian government to step aside and get some kind of technical government that will, a kind of caretaking government for the next couple of months to make sure that there's a transition to something which the markets like. Is this a solution? I do believe the solution is a political decision. There is not a question of technicians. The point in Italy is a political decision. Cut down government expenditure, not increase taxes. And this is the, uh, the, the mother of any political decision. The point is, is this government able to take this kind of political decision? Until now, my answer is no. Will it be able to take it in the, in the last week? And if it's not able to take the right decisions, what does it need to do? Does it just need to be stepping aside? And who's going to force it to step aside? Well, I, 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 I think we have to answer the question that our President of the Republic posed a few weeks ago and even a few days ago. This is a very dangerous situation. Italy must be all together, maybe the majority, the government, and also the oppositions, to do what we need to do since 10 years ago, not simply during the last three, four weeks. The point, the, 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 dangerous, the dangerous situation in Italy is given from the fact that decisions, structural decisions, that we have to be taken uh, maybe five, ten years ago, has yeah. never been taken, and now, and now is the last final point.